had a really good week and that everyone is holding up with everything that is happening on a universal level at this moment in time. So what we're going to do today is we're delving into the future and we're going to be looking at you and your person um, and if you've got a future together. So this is deck number one and this is deck number two. What I need you to do is think about your person and as you're thinking about them, feel the emotions in your heart chakra um, and if you can visualise either a green colour from your heart chakra going to the deck you are most drawn to and if you can't visualise it, just feel it, feel the emotions and push it into the deck that you are most drawn to, number one, number two. Okay, that's how we work. We work on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Um, when I say we, I always mean me and my guides because they, they're like always in my ears. So number one, number two. Okay, let's go. So deck number one, what is the future of you and your person? Are you going to be together? So yeah, as always, works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your individual circumstances and individual situations. Uh, think about your, let's do possibilities, probabilities, choices, choices, and changes of that person, and possibilities, probabilities, yeah, yeah, I'll just that. possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of deck number one's person, okay. So the first thing that's coming through my right ear, when it comes in my right ear, it is higher vibrational beings, so normally it's Ascended Masters, Angels uh, and higher vibrational guides. When it's in my left ear, it's my very close guides or your guides if I'm doing a private reading for you. So in my right ear, coming forward, we've got Fleetwood Mac everywhere, um, very, very strongly. And at the same time as that is linking in, we also have... Um, Fleetwood Mac again, and it's about the songbirds singing that they know the score, and I love you, I love you, I love you like never before. Okay, can you tell me what you're them and the person, what is the future? How beautiful is that? One of my favourite songs, that songbird song. What is the future? Two of these are good. What is the future of them and their person? Yeah, I really felt drawn to the, the picturesque decks at the moment. I must have like over 200 decks. And um, my guide this morning, he was like, go for the ones that are more more picturesque. I'm going to do it in three rows today. Three rows. What's the future? And what is the future over here? So as always, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not circumstantial. I don't, as a, as your collective, I don't read your circumstances. In private readings, we read circumstances, but it's just to give you um, your mutual energy. So everyone's energy of everyone involved, um, and it pulls out the cards. You know, when you were at school and you did like an average, when you'd add all the numbers together and it pulled out the average. That's basically how um, my guides work with a collective reading between you all. So regardless of your circumstances. Now, your cards on the whole are looking pretty phenomenal. They're looking really, really good. Um, for those of you that read Tarot, you've got the Three of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Four of Wands and the Star and the Wheel. <laughs> so let's start off at the very, very end, shall we? Let's go through these, these cards first, okay? So these four cards over here. You have your overall celebration. You have all your wishes coming true. You have another celebration coming forward here. Um, and you also have about being on the right path. So my guide is saying that the overall outcome for the majority of you watching and your collective energy is extremely positive. You're gonna get to a place where you, are, you and your person are at peace with stuff that has happened in the past. And you're gonna be very much focusing on that present, present moment. Some of you guys will end up getting married, uh, some of you guys will end up getting pregnant, some of you guys are going to end up having the celebration and parties of your life when you finally like, yes, this is going to happen, we're going to get our shit together finally, and it's, gonna, it's got a really, really positive feeling to this reading overall. Now, a lot of you have been going through pain or worry or concern or anxiety in your heart, and there's this, or some of you guys have had a little bit of a fear that there is someone else involved. If there is someone else involved, you guys are fully aware of that circumstance, okay? So if you're there thinking, oh God, I don't know about that, Ali, that's because it's not for you. The, the people that have got third parties involved will already know about it, but there's still quite a lot of hope that you guys are gonna get it sorted. Your person's having a bit of a wake-up call about the reality of their situation and thinking, shit, I need to sort this out. Um, I know I've got choices and decisions that I need to make, but actually I'm getting ready to make those choices and decisions. And it's really interesting that you've got threes kind of popping up every so this is normally the timings, uh, three weeks, three months, 
uh, the third, so it could be March next year, along those lines, or it could be, for some of you, it could be three year, which is a little bit longer term, but I have to give you, again, it's your collective energy on timings. If you wanna look at individual timings, give me a shout. So your overall outcome with you and your person is really positive. Now, Spirit is saying with this, it's really important that you guys try and keep balanced on it. Try not, at the moment, in t this moment in time, some of you guys, bless your hearts, can try and get the jigsaw pieces and add all the jigsaw pieces together and see a very different kind of perspective than what's actually going on. So unless your person is communicating with you and saying, oh, it's like this and it's like that and it's like this and it's like that, please try not to get your fears involved in this situation. Really uh, switch your fears to a place of love from a place of fear. Best way of doing that is to just go and distract yourself. It's a bit hard again, especially in England. I don't know about the rest of the world. In England, we're still on lockdown. Uh, but if you wanted to go see your friends, go see your friends, go have your hair done, go have your nails done, or, or lads, you know, go play football, or anything along those lines, you know, really kind of keep yourself um, as distracted as possible to step out of that fear-based energy, and it looks really, really positive that you guys are actually going to get this together. Now, my guide is saying that some of you guys, it is a lot sooner than what you are anticipating, so if we said the three-year to you and you've got all that, that panic, um, they're saying that it's going to be sooner than what you anticipate, and that's why both of those songs are coming forward very much at the start. I'm also here in Gabrielle life oh life god that's an old one that was from the 90s I think um yeah life oh life okay um so really with this you've got to kind of just go with the flow of it at this moment in time um send out to the universe what it is that you want not what you don't want again acting on that heart-based energy rather than the fear-based energy and it's looking really positive that you guys are going to be stepping into a successful positive and phenomenal future with one another so if we break it down a little bit like i said you kind of have this third party doubts worries fears or a physicality of it happening um your person is currently just sitting on the sideline not taking much action towards you um but what they're doing whilst they're sitting on this sideline is they're having a time of contemplation they're having a time of thinking everything through um, and they're really looking to the horizons of what they're doing for the future and with that your person can definitely see that there is a strong chance you guys are going to be together they are really working out that you are the one they want to be with they're standing in this kind of very um need to take action getting ready to take action and if they're not quite there yet again it's going to be happening in the future we have a murmuration of birds at the top as well and it's kind of very much a universal sign that everything is going uh going to be going quite smoothly so if it's been a bit of a rocky ride at, up until this point in this three turnaround your murmuration is going to your your next steps are going to be running a lot more smoothly and you guys are also going to be working together not against one another so potentially in the past you've had aggravation arguments passionate energy that's created these kind of explosions um spirit is saying with this please remember that communication is key okay so you guys are going to have to communicate uh, eff effectively and efficiently without sounding worky that's how you're going to have to communicate with one another your person has often kind of hidden their emotions but where you are at the moment, it really is getting ready to take those next steps on the journey together and your future is looking bright. Uh, the future is orange, Spirit just said as well. And what they mean by that, you remember those uh, adverts, the future's bright, the future's orange. What they're saying with that, orange is a color of sexual energy. It can also be a, a color of passion. Um, it, tends to be to do with the liquids in your body if you want to go into like the technical term of the sacral chakra and um, but the future's bright the future's orange a lot of sexual passionate energy kind of coming forward between you both and again pregnancy can be brought into this so it's looking really positive between the two of you now the other side of things is your person is making quite slow movement towards you some of you might feel that it's on the back of a snail some of you might feel it's on the back of a turtle and um, some of you it is going to be on a uh, what were the ones that would run really really quick emus they would run really fast and bury their heads in the sand um the road runner i'm seeing a, a cartoon image of the road runner um, so some of your people are going very slowly some of your people not quite so slowly but it's really important to remember that once they've made this decision that decision is going to be really clicking in the head the jigsaw piece is going to fit into place and this is when your road runner is going to come forward so at the moment it might feel like nothing is happening but that roadrunner is getting ready to come. Um, and again, that three is being brought into my energy. It's been really brought into my attention. So again, collective timing of a three. Um, 
The other thing that's going on is you guys really need to start trusting your intuition. Um, we know that we, me and guys again, we know that a lot of you have been getting quite frustrated, getting quite annoyed, and some of you have been effing and blinding and swearing at your guides. Um, they are saying to me not to stress about it, they completely understand. Um, but they do, you know, they love you, they want the best for you and they care for you. And um, so your pleas have not fallen on deaf ears. They are listening and corresponding. Um, with that, they're also saying, keep your prayers up, keep your intentions up and keep your thoughts positive. Um, because this again is moving in your favor. There is a need for a cycle to be broken here. Like a lot of you guys have been repeating the same cycle over and over and over again over the years. But it's really time now that that cycle broke and that is what's going to be happening when that cycle breaks things are going to be starting to move in your favor now a lot of it spirit is saying is to do with the astrology of what's happening this year and um, when it comes up to your birthday around your guys birthday times this is when your numerology changes uh same with the your people when it comes up to the birthday numerology changes and when that birthday time comes this is normally when the new cycles start to begin sometimes it can be a couple of weeks before your birthday or your person's birthday but you step into a new number each year so this new number that's going to be coming forward is going to be working a lot better in your favor and um, so watch out for your birthday months as well as things kind of progress throughout the year for you. Um, very much a very strong feminine energy here, standing in this very female power, remembering who you are, remembering that you are slightly more than the mundane, that you've got magical abilities and gifts and you've been blessed. Um, so really staying in that focus, staying in that positive energy, especially when you're starting to feel low or down or a bit weak. Keep your faith. There is a very strong indication that faith is needing to be kept here um, and belief. You know, yes, the times have been rocky. Yes, they have been difficult. But your overall outcome for debt number one is extremely positive. It looks like you and your person are going to be sorting your shit out and you're going to be moving forward into a phenomenal phenomenal future together there also looks to be some kind of offer coming in uh, from your person that offer is an offer of stability an offer of security and it is going to be uh, forward facing so it's looking towards your future they're going to be making you an offering of a new future um, again sexual energy is coming up in this but they won't your people uh, when they do communicate with you and open up with you about this they're not going to be communicating sexual energy debt number one it is going to be heart based energy they might communicate with you that they still have fears over the situation, maybe stuff that's happened from their past or from their childhood or when they were younger, um, but they will start to openly and honestly communicate with you. It's going to be like a lightning bolt is coming down and hitting, hitting them and they're like, oh my God, this is the person I want to be with. This is the person I want to spend my life with. And a lot of you already know this. You've got that intuition. Really trust your gut instinct on it. Trust your own inner feelings um, because they will serve you right right and um, some of you guys as well it's really interesting that I've just been drawn and um, spirit have just said the Christmas song the Christmas one 12 days of Christmas two turtle doves um, so again even though we said three months there is a specifically one of you where there is going to be movement at Christmas with your two turtle doves um, stability and emotions are going to be more balancing out and you're going to be walking we're walking walking and working and um, the psychic slip walking and working towards um, a more stable foundation some of you also will be buying houses some of you also will be moving states i specifically heard states then um, to be with your person and at least one of you um, is going to be or two two or three of you are going to be moving country as well i'm hearing so that's quite specific person moving country your name begins with an r um and an s r and an s really really clearly saw that so a number of choices and decisions are going to be made but these choices and decisions are leading to complete and utter abundance try not to lose hope on the situation keep balanced on it all masculine feminine energies are heading forwards in the right direction towards um your abundant future you have your celebration and with the three of cups as well it's very much the woman standing in her power remember we're never sexually orientated or gender specific but this is you guys in your power kept balanced on it all and you've achieved your cup 
at the very end of it. So this top bit where the two cups are kind of meeting, this is you balancing, and to achieve that balance, you have your celebration at the end where you get your cup. A um, little bit, you know, even if your third party situations, again, it still looks like it's going to be heading in your favor. You've got to go with the flow. Everything is going to start running a bit more smoothly for you as time starts moving forward. Yes, it's slow and steady movement, but this lightning bolt is coming down. Your person's having a wake up call. Please pay attention to your own intuition. You're getting out of this cycle, cycle that you guys have been involved in and you're going to be heading towards a future that is bright and orange. Um, more sexual energies coming forward and pregnancy. When we say pregnancy, um, often that can be about giving birth to your dreams as well as physical pregnancy. So please keep that at the back of your mind as well. When you're when you're pregnant, um, spirit will say when you're pregnant, it means that you're going to be giving birth to new ideas, new dreams, new aspirations, new ideas, but also there is the physical pregnancy side of things as well. Um, and you find that with mediumship when we'll show you a preg I always say this to my students, I say um, images are so important because when you're doing mediumship they will either show you a specific image, well they'll show you a specific image and it's either going to have a physical meaning or it's going to have a metaphorical meaning. So for example if you saw a pregnant woman it would either mean that you were going to be pregnant or you're going to be giving birth to dreams or there's someone that's pregnant around you, okay. Um, so with that again various options involved in that pregnancy um, but keep it at the back of your mind looks really good you guys are set set for life I just heard I'm sure that's a lottery ticket set for life I'm not saying go and play the lottery but maybe if you're feeling in that abundant positive energy might be a good time that some of you could go and win the lottery and um, definitely just saw the thumb of the lottery and set for life and also with that again Facebook Messenger some of you guys are going to get thumbed um, as things start moving forward and progressing for you looks really positive future looks great okay guys that is deck number one so gonna have a breather and do deck number two Okay guys, deck number two, let's do this. So uh, as I said at the start, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your actual situations, your individual situations, um, goes into all your energy, pulls out the strongest mutual between mutual energy between you all. A bit like how you worked out the average at school and maths. Okay, think about your person for me. Can we get into the collective people's energy? Someone just got really strong anxiety. I just felt this massive panging of anxiety go on then. Okay. Uh, and their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. Okay, so I've got a song for you. Again, it's coming through my right ear. So when it comes from my right ear, it is higher vibrational beings such as angels, archangels, everything that is love and light in this world and it's coming through my right ear and it is Take On Me. Uh, the original Take On Me, not the A1 version, even though I was an A1 girl when I was like 12, this is the original version. Um, so, that's kind of interesting, we'll see what comes up in your cards. Right, what is the future of them people watching? and their person. Can we have some cards, please? So in deck number one, I did it in three rows and we're gonna do the same over here. One, two, three, one. It's interesting that they're jumping out in threes when I'm saying we're doing it in rows of threes. I love how my cards listen to me. That one jumped out singularly there too. And one more, please. Right, the best part one as well. We will move that one to the side. Okay, so there is currently, you and your person might feel that you are at a bit of a standstill, that nothing is really happening, um, that you guys are healing from stuff that has happened to the in the past. And a lot of you guys are on a bit of self-protect at this moment in time. You're kind of waiting to see what happens. You're looking at the clock thinking, God, this needs to hurry up. If this doesn't hurry up, I am losing this and I am walking away from this for good. So at the moment, you lot are kind of feeling at the end of your tether because your person isn't doing much about the situation and um, your person is on self-protect with this also and a little bit of self-preservation it's not that they're not into you they are into you they do really like you but they've got these little bits of uh 
doubts in their stomach. It feels to be doubts or worries over it, that perhaps you like them a little bit more than they like you. Now, the reason why they think that or potentially are lying to themselves about that is because they are on this element of self-protect with the situation. So they're really kind of looking after themselves at the moment and perhaps being a bit of a moron about it. Um, they might, you might find that you've been texting them a lot and they haven't been replying or um, they've been ghosting you, but there has been communication between you guys um, and that communication has been largely positive for the collective energy of you all. But you are having a bit of a break with them uh, because your person is being quite difficult over the situation. Now your person is enjoying their time being single. Um, a lot of you guys your people have been in quite complicated relationships in the past. Um, so they've took a step back from these relationships that they were involved in and decided to kind of got another song. They're flying fleet with Matt, uh, at me today. They're in the relationships they were in in the past, they have gone their own way. So they've stepped away from previous circumstances which were difficult and then you guys like a kind of out of nowhere walked into their life and really threw them off kilt. And this is why their doubts are kind of a little bit there um, and this self-preservation is there because they're, they're thinking, well, am I ready to get involved in a relationship again? Is this something that I actually want to do? Um, when it's hot and horny and sexy, everything is great, very strong sexual energy coming up. But when emotions come up to the surface, your person is potentially likely to have a freak out. And that's what spirit mean when they say, well, perhaps they might think that you're more into them than they are into you. Again, that is them lying to themselves. There's a bit of denial going on with that because they don't want to admit anything to themselves at this moment because if they do, they know that they have to create changes in their life and they're just not ready to at the moment because they're out of relationships that perhaps have been more difficult um, especially if there's kids involved they've been in very complicated situations and they're just taking a bit of a breather from it all and um, so don't take it literally if you feel like what we said there about maybe they're not into you it's not like that there are emotions here but they're just protecting themselves a little bit because they don't want to get hurt again um, and with that protection kind of comes that little bit of a sense of denial like I don't have to be into this but like maybe I'm not maybe I am you know but really if you guys walked away or you did a runner and you left and beat your person would have a freak out and really start chasing you you lot watching are standing in a very very strong energy at the moment there is definitely a level of temptation going on with you guys they are very tempted by you the very very strong attraction uh, likely for deck number two that this is more of a twin flame connection uh, that circumstances are kind of what's getting in the way of you guys moving forward rather than the two of you um, so with that what we mean is if it was just down to the two of you without complicated circumstances you guys would be together by now but if circumstances are involved in this then the circumstances can dictate it being more difficult between the two of you so they're seeing that you're standing in this very strong sexual power this very strong sexual energy and this is a massive pull towards um towards you really really drawn to your energy they just want a little bit more time essentially and this is why you're getting fed up with it all because you're thinking are you just gonna mess around what's happening what's actually going on and you you have to go into the kind of inner workings of their brain perhaps they haven't been committing to you or anything along those lines and it's left you feeling like really again hurry up this is wasting my time what do you actually want from the situation so for you guys watching if you keep on standing in your power um this is when the cycle is going to be changing and breaking and you guys have the wheel as well don't number one had the wheel too um a bit like the khaleesi and this woman definitely reminds me of daenerys targaryen you will be the ones to break the wheel so you've been going around in a cycle potentially where your person hasn't been committing to you or giving you what you want and um, when you get into this kind of Khaleesi, Queen of Swords, power-based energy and say, you know what, I ain't chasing this. Um, remember the egg not chasing the sperm and the only person you chase after is the ice cream man. Um, if you get into that power-based energy, your person is going to get really, really drawn to you. When emotions are thrown on them, that's when they panic and they can feel a little bit suffocated because they're like, oh, actually, you know, I want to be single. I, I want to be by myself. I want to enjoy this time. I've been in such a difficult relationship before. I need a bit of space. If you step into this power based energy 
this is going to shift because they're suddenly going to be really drawn to you. They get very drawn to the independent, sassy, sexy, powerful um, person that you are. Um, but when relationships and emotions and things like that get thrown on them, this is when they get a little bit stuck. So if you stick into this power energy and saying your bitch power, um, this situation can move forward. The lack of commitment that they're giving you is very, very frustrating. We are fully aware of that. But you, um, even though they hold the key in this, you are more powerful than what you are giving yourself credit for. They are. They might go a little bit quiet on you while they're reflecting. Again, freedom is really coming into their energy. They've gone through so much stuff in the past that they've gathered. They're trying to gather their strength. Um, it's not that they don't want to be with you. They do want to be with you, but they're just very, very frightened of the commitment that comes from that. So they're taking their time to just work it all out, work it um, out, yeah, work it out and fly free. Um, once they've got the freedom and they feel ready for a relationship, this is when the offer of commitment can come towards you. Um, some of your people might be, you might feel that they kind of suck your energy a little bit. If they do that, make sure you put yourself into, um, the best thing to do, if, you, if you're if you around, they call them energy vampires in our world, if you feel that your person kind of sucks and drains your energy, imagine a pink rose gold kind of light all around you and then visualize mirrors, okay? Because what will happen there is any kind of energy where they try and, um, feed off you as such, it's gonna get, re it, it's not gonna be able to, it, end to your energy you're still going to be able to help and guide them but it's not going to um attach itself to you so strongly you're not going to feel so drained after spending time with them and um, again reason for that is due to their uncertainty sometimes they want to talk things through um and when they talk through stuff that's happened in their life you guys because your empaths can get really drawn to their energy um, and again with that remember as we said before um Again, with the empathic stuff, you are a sponge. So if anyone, you, 98% of emotions that empaths pick up are not their own. So anywhere that you suddenly get hit with anxiety or fear or worrying, you are absolutely fine. It is very unlikely that it is your energy. So all you need to say with that is return to sender with consciousness, send it back to them. Um, and it will shift and clear your energy out. And again, if you put your mirrors around yourself, it's gonna help protect your energy a little bit in case your person gets a bit sucky on you. Start sucking you. Um, <laughs> so you have this kind of strong, I, I need a bit of time by myself, I need a bit of time of being single, but you have got a new beginning stepping forward it's more of a sexual beginning between you guys at this moment in time. But if you keep on standing in your bitch power and calling the shots and it being on your terms, then this is most likely going to go in your favour. Um, it is hard when you want to be this kind of queen of swords, this power-based energy, and then as soon as you see him, you get hit by this queen of cups. I love you. I want to be with you. You are amazing. Don't be too hard on yourself if it does happen. Um, really just go with the flow of it. You don't need to, no one needs a personality transplant in any of this, um, we're not saying that. Um, but if you can stand in that power, it's just gonna move this situation more in your favor because your person will see that you are in this independent, sassy, sexy, powerful energy. And whilst they are wanting to be kind of by themselves or single or have some time out, when your power matches up with their power, that energy will mirror onto each other so that you guys can work towards this new beginning. A lot of you guys, it's likely to be more sexual to begin with. Um, will they commit to you? There is a possibility of it happening later down the line. Um, it's more of this kind of, again, sexual energy coming forward. There is potential here. The cycle needs to get broken though. And for it to break, you've got to get into that power-based energy that will move it into your favor. Um, the other thing that's kind of coming up here, Spirit is showing me a really clear, uh, clear, clairvoyant image of the red thread of destiny that you guys, a lot of you guys are entwined, your energies are entwined with one another. another. Uh, there might be a need at this moment in time to detangle your energies a little bit, but once you've detangled it, again, the love between the two of you will still remain. Your person does love you. They do love you, but they're just very frightened of commitment and what commitment could do. Um, and if this is something that they're ready for, so you really, you'll have to go at their speed a little bit, which is frustrating, um, but the potential is here for this to work out between you both. Again, you're more powerful in this situation than perhaps you're giving yourself credit for. Um, the love is strong. They might be sucking your energy a little bit from you. Um, 
but the power that you guys hold is a more it's a very strong connection uh with this as well with the passion that is between you both you might find that you guys sometimes have eruptions that the sexual energy is extremely strong it's extremely passionate and it's extremely high chemistry and again if your person like i said at the start if they're in a little bit of denial over the situation um it's because they're scared of commitment so with the passionate energy it's easier to talk about kind of sex and passion than it is for them to talk about emotions because they're not ready at this moment in time to commit okay so if they come forward in a little bit of a sexy powerful energy towards you uh, just be an allowance of it you know just acknowledge that you know their emotions are running deep they're just in a little bit of denial over it all um with the passionate energy between you guys as well, it is potential that you guys can have arguments because you have a hurricane and a tornado, both of you kind of spiraling out of control and it can cause these kind of eruptions uh, between you both. And again, if that happens, you and your person will work it out. It just needs a bit of time to calm down and um, to be released and... Um, then you guys can solve it, essentially. That's what Spirit is saying. So you guys have got a chance for the future. It is really positive just not quite on the time scale that you would like is there a collective timing on this spirit is saying no there is no collective timing on this because you're all at very different stages so if you wanted to look at individual timings just give me a shout and we can do that in private readings or single questions um don't lose hope don't lose faith it looks like it's moving in your favor but you've got to just stay in that power and if you stay in that power you, there's more likelihood that your person is going to commit to you uh, because when emotions get involved and, and they feel your love they can freak out and panic from it so try not to be i hate saying this but try not to be needy with them um the more power you are the more they're going to realize what they want the more they're going to realize they want to be with you and the more they're going to want to bond and connect with you on that power-based energy and it will bring about a more positive future for you guys okay and that's step number two so i'll put all the details in the description if you need me have a really good week my beauties i will speak to you soon look after yourselves stay safe god bless and i love you all to pieces bye darlings bye